What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So today I am doing a random winter haul. I've been doing these videos every couple months where I just kind of gather some random stuff that I have purchased over the past couple months and shove it all into one video and show you guys what I have been getting. So this video is not sponsored. There are several different brands in this video. Some of these brands are more affordable. Some of them are pricier. It's kind of just all across the board, but as always, before we get started, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below along with all my personal links, discount codes, and measurements for a reference. So uh, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So the first thing that I have on is this hoodie dress and this is from Misguided. I got this in a US size 6 and I paired it with these over the knee boots which I've actually had these boots for a while but I decided that in this video I kind of wanted to style things a little bit more than I usually do just to show you guys kind of like what I would pair things with but I will go ahead and link um, anything that I style things with in this video as well even if it's not like a new purchase but this is what she looks like so what I love about misguided is they have options for petites uh, regular and tall ladies so I am 5'7 so I'm like right on the like I guess shortest end of being tall literally on the website for tall it says 5'7 and over so this I actually got off the tall section usually I would never buy like a short dress especially like a hoodie dress I've tried to buy hoodie dresses in the past and they always are not long enough for me and my butt just pops out um, so it's just like a regular hoodie but since this was made for tall ladies to actually cover the booty um, it definitely does for me so I'm very very happy about that and I figured that even if it wasn't long enough I would just wear this as like an oversized hoodie because I absolutely love oversized hoodies in the winter time just super casual and comfy but I feel like with the over the knee boots it really dresses it up a bit and I feel like this outfit right here is a very Ariana Grande outfit um, I don't know I see her in like oversized hoodies and over the knee boots all the time. I don't have my hair like her. My hair is way too short to do that little thing. It would look like a little like think. Um, <laughs> but I feel like this is definitely a little Ariana Grande moment. And of course I love that the hoodie is this kind of like tie dye pattern. Y'all know I love my tie dye. So yeah, that's the first outfit. So the next thing I got from ASOS and it is a oversized t-shirt dress. So I am also going to pair it with these over the knee boots. I don't know what it is, but I've been loving oversized like dresses paired with over the knee boots. I don't know what it is about that look, but I'm a big fan. So yeah, this is from ASOS and I got it in a size four. Okay, so this is what she looks like on. So again, definitely super casual, but pairing it with the over the knee boots just kind of spices it up a little bit. So yeah, very, very similar to the last outfit. And I don't know what it is about bandana print, but I feel like it's been having a moment. At least for me, it's been having a moment. Um, I really like bandana print. I got like a bandana print swimsuit recently too, and like cover up. It's something that I never really thought to put on anything but a bandana until now, but I don't know, I really like it. Okay, the next thing I also got from Misguided, it is these gray sweatpants, and I got these in a US size six, but they are also from the tall section. Okay, so this is what the sweatpants slash joggers look like on. As you can see, they are high rise. They have a draw cord waistband. They have pockets on the side. They have cuffs at the bottom. They are long enough, which is amazing because a lot of times pants, especially joggers and sweatpants are just too short for me. So again, love that they have the tall sizes on the misguided site. I also really like that these are oversized, but not like so massively oversized that they just like swallow me whole. And these do have like a fleecy lining on the inside. As you can see, I paired these with Yeezys. These are my first pair 
of Yeezys. So if you're wanting Yeezys for a long time and trying to talk myself out of it so many times, I finally caved and got myself some Yeezy 350s. I got these on the StockX website because they verify um, authenticity on that site and they are very expensive because when they launch, people buy them up and then they resell them. It's very, very annoying, but it is what it is. But I finally caved and got myself a pair and I will let you know, the sizing is super, super weird. So they only come in men's sizes, but all of the Yeezys, the sizing is a little bit off. So I had to get men's sizing for these and I had to size up. So I usually wear a size eight in women's, which I think is a size six in men's, but I got these in a men's size six and a half because I think they run a little small. And even in the six and a half, they were a little small. So I did take the liners out and they fit me a lot better without the liners. I also am someone that has very weird feet. So just keep that in mind. Um, that's probably why I had to take the liners out, but I definitely, I definitely do like them. And then for Christmas, one of the things that I asked Andre for was a pair of Yeezy 500. So Andre got these for me off of the StockX website and we got these in a men's size seven. So I'm pretty sure that these run small as well, but honestly, if you're interested in Yeezys, highly recommend getting them off of the StockX website. I will link all of these down below, of course. Um, but before you buy, definitely online, there are some Yeezy size guides to help you decide what the best size for you in these is because they are sized very weird and you don't want to buy a pair because first of all they're very expensive so you don't want to buy a pair that doesn't fit you because these sites i don't think they take returns so you'd have to resell them um so just make sure you get the right size also because i'm sure i'm gonna get questions on it um this plain black tank top is the bounce athletica key tank i will link this in the description box below as well i wear this in my regular size small and this is one of those tops that you don't need a bra with it's like tight enough um, that you don't need to wear a bra with it. So very, very comfortable. And next thing that I got is from Walmart, baby. Um, so we went from very expensive with the Yeezys to very, very cheap. Um, this is a men's Walmart flannel. Um, I got it in a size large, so it would be oversized. And these are only $10. We love that. So this is what the flannel looks like on Obviously very oversized, very comfy, just casual. I love my flannels, especially in the fall and winter time to just throw over um, a little tank top. And also if you're looking for flannels, not just for you, but for your man, Andre really likes these flannels as well. He is an XL in these though. Okay, so next we're gonna hop into some things that I got from Revolve. So these things are gonna be a little bit on the pricier side, but definitely more of like investment pieces. So the first thing that I got is this gray tank top dress in a size small. Again, I paired it with the over the knee boots. Clearly loving the over the knee boots right now. Honestly, if you don't have a pair, 10 out of 10 would recommend because they just dress up any outfit, but also they keep your legs warm. <laughs> so this dress is super soft and very, very stretchy. What I do love is it is short, but it does cover my booty enough in the back. Like I said, I run into that problem a lot with things just being too short for me. Um, also, what I love about this dress is it has this little tie at the waist. So these are connected to the sides here and you just tie it at the waist. It kind of cinches it in at your waist a little bit, gives you like the little hourglass figure, but it also covers up your little belly. So if you go eat a big meal, you don't have to worry about your food baby popping through your dress because it's got these little, little things there. I talk about food babies in regards to clothes way too often, but honestly, like, a lot of times when I get dressed up, I'm going to eat dinner, you know? But I've already actually worn this and I absolutely love it. It's probably honestly one of my favorite things in this whole haul. I also paired it with this um, silver lock necklace and this is from Amazon. This was only $10. I actually realized some of my purses 
have like um, silver hardware on them and I don't know I feel like it's okay to mix gold and silver but I was just like you know I only really wear gold jewelry and I don't have any silver jewelry and I don't wear silver stuff that much so I didn't want to like invest so if you've seen one of my past videos or honestly I've just talked about this necklace a lot this is the little vintage Louis Vuitton lock necklace from Etsy which I can also link for you but that was very expensive that was like a hundred dollars whereas this is ten dollars because again, like I said, I just don't wear silver jewelry enough to buy something super expensive, but I wanted something that would go with purses that have the silver hardware on them. So I figured that this would be a great option and I really, really like it. Also, when I did wear this, I paired it with this leather jacket and I feel like it looks really good with a leather jacket, especially if it's like a little bit chilly, which let's be honest, Colorado is chilly in the winter time, most places, unless you live in like Florida. So I paired it with this leather jacket and I thought it kind of tied the outfit together really nicely. This leather jacket is super, super old, but I will link a very, very similar one down there for you. The next thing that I got is also from Revolve. It is this pink sequin dress and I also got this in a size small. So this was supposed to be my New Year's Eve dress this year, but I will not be leaving the apartment on New Year's Eve. So I haven't taken the tag off of this yet, but honestly, I think this dress is so beautiful. I probably will end up just wearing it in the apartment and taking pictures in it and drinking champagne with Andre because I just, I want to wear this dress. It's so pretty. It's definitely a pricey dress, but I just think it is gorgeous. It's super flattering. I love that it comes in right here at your waist. It's got long sleeves that are not too tight. I don't know, just everything about it I think is beautiful. And I just paired it with a pair of these nude suede strappy heels from Lulu's. And I've had these heels for years and I love these. So the next thing I also got from Revolve and I also got in a size small. So again, this is a dress that I absolutely do not have an occasion to wear it anywhere for, but if you're familiar with my channel at all, you know that I like to just like get clothes before I have an occasion to wear them in hopes that I will have an occasion to wear them. So I feel like this is a very tropical dress that would be very cute to wear on a little beach vacation. I feel like it's really unique, like the cut of it with the high neck and the like open cut here and then this little like dangly thing um i feel like it's super unique and i don't know i just really really like this dress and hopefully 2021 there will be an occasion for me to wear it and i just paired it with a pair of these clear and white heels that are also from revolve the next thing that i got again from revolve is this maxi dress and i got this in a size small So again, I do not have an occasion to wear this dress, but I've been eyeing it on the website for a while. I love maxi dresses, and I feel like just like a classic black maxi dress, you can't go wrong. Like there's definitely plenty of occasions to wear that. This one has a cute little slit up the side, and it has an open back, and it has like a hook and closure little detail right here, so you do not have to wear a bra with it. So yeah, I just feel like it's very cute. Who knows when I will wear it? It might be summertime, but we'll see. The last thing that I have is this little one shoulder crop top also from Revolve also in a size small I just thought that this was super unique this little like one shoulder sleeve it has like a little bell sleeve here I don't have any other tops like it and I feel like this would be super cute to wear out not going out much these days, but hopeful thinking, you know? Um, and I paired it with these Good American black jeans. These are the Good Waist jeans. These are my favorite pair of black jeans and my favorite pair of Good American jeans. I usually wear these in a size four and then a little pair of 
black booty. So that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a lot more videos coming your way soon so stay tuned for those. Let me know if you liked this style of video where I style things a little bit more than usual. A lot of times I just kind of vocalize and tell you what I would pair something with but I feel like it's probably more helpful to actually show you so let me know if you like that. Let me know what your favorite thing in this video was. Um, and that is all I have for you today. I will catch you next time, guys. Bye.